I would like this particular color because the color is amazing. Because flowers to begin with is to make people happy. So uh, bright colors make people happy, gets you excited. Sergio Silva dropped out of school when he was a teenager and worked long hours in fields like these. Today, he sits in the front office as a co-owner of a flower growing company that covers 50 acres in Salinas, California. He's among a growing number of Hispanics who own or operate agriculture businesses in the United States today. In this area, you have all these new uh, Mexican-Americans uh, starting new businesses. Newcomers like myself are you know, buying the greenhouse and turning those greenhouses into production. Although agriculture has traditionally been dominated by whites, between 2007 and 2012, there was a 21% increase in Hispanic-operated farms. You know, when you're, you're a minority in this country and you're a small business, you cannot miss. You, you have to be successful. All right, sounds good. I'll reach out to you and let's, let's get together this week. My dad and my mother were born in Mexico. When we came uh, here, uh, my mom and dad, you know, they work in the fields. I dropped out of school before I never graduated from high school. I went directly to the field. You know, for me, it was getting a paycheck every Friday. Uh, that was awesome. So I didn't mind doing the field work. Uh, as I got older, I started looking for uh, opportunities. I got a good job. Yet I had this dream that, that I wanted to do something different. So what I decided to do then, we, I enjoyed uh, a company last year with another partner. You know, he had 30 years plus experience running a, a, a huge operation. Since I know the product really good inside out, so I wanted to be focused more on growing and Sergio be focused more on the operational and business end. Okay, I, I can definitely do that, all right? Our company name is Rancho Espinosa, just to let people know, hey, you're dealing with some rancheros. Se siente uno a gusto pues que ver que la gente mexicana y uno está creciendo, ¿verdad? Pues creo que le da gusto a uno. Pues motiva a uno a seguir trabajando, luchando uno. ¿verdad? Como dice él mismo, nos ha dicho aquí es un mundo, un país de oportunidades que puede uno aprender cosas nuevas y no sabiendo hasta dónde va a llegar uno algún día también. You have plans for dinner? Oh yeah, we could go to the rodeo. Rodeo. Oh, yeah. I want to go to that. Well, I don't want to go to the rodeo. There's so much people. <laughs> Get to see horses. Oh I wanted to offer my kids a better future. And I saw that in this country, that if you work hard and you have a dream, and you really put the time into it, whatever education or not, you still can live up to your dream. 